Christmas, folks. Uh, so I'm here in Sherwood Park. I've got uh, managed to kind of free up a couple hours uh, today. Uh, only two. Uh, so I figured I'd come out while the sun is shining for the first time in two days, uh, two or three days. Um, and I found something uh, that I had completely forgotten about when I lived up in this area. Um, so I'm going to go to this cemetery first, and then I'm going to try and get up right up to an abandoned house along the highway. And these are all along Highway 1. Um, I'll just show you that right now. So there is Highway 1. Sherwood Park is right there. Right on the other side. And here is Clover Bar Cemetery. And it's surrounded by industrial buildings. There's a lot of uh, construction going on in behind this one. And in behind the one over here. So I'm guessing that um, there's going to be limited time that this uh, cemetery is around. Uh, I don't know what they would do with rezoning of this area, but um, it's from uh, 1881 to 1931. As you'll see on this sign here at the gate. So there's lots of uh, history behind this. So 1881 to 1931. Um, and there's another sign here in honor of the vision and labors of our pioneers. Uh, some very, very old uh, headstones here. Uh, there's one there with a lamb on it. That's uh, usually the sign of a kid, unfortunately. Um, some newly planted flowers down there. But some very old graves. There's one over here from the 1800s. Uh, they moved from Scotland. Uh, Fraser, Wallace, uh, 1846, 1882. It's uh, yeah. So there's some so there's some history in here. That's for sure. One other thing I did spot. Uh, this is right in behind. Uh, well, almost behind the cemetery. Um, I'm moving a little slow today because I didn't get much sleep last night, so I'm pretty exhausted. But, as always, driving these back roads, you just got to keep your eye open for stuff. And I found this barn. Saw this barn, I thought, that's pretty cool. But it's actually right next to a creek. Um, again, this is something I didn't even really realize was here. Maybe it wasn't even here. Um, well, I know this, this road might not have even been here when I was up, used to live up here, but it's right next to this creek. Don't know if you can hear that, but it's still running. So it's not totally frozen. Um, and there's that barn. Then you got industrial over there. The cemetery's just on the other side of that, that uh, site. And then you've got this industrial place here that does something with propane tanks and metal but there's this creek that runs through here and you've got that barn right there but it's fenced off so I'm not gonna bother trying to get across it or anything it's no need but yeah it's pretty cool and that's right pretty much right in the, the heart of Strathcona County Okay, this is very interesting because I'm back at where the house was. It was ma a mansion and it was uh, just over there, um, just at the end of this driveway. And now it's not there. And this is only a couple months later. So they've gotten rid of that house, which is probably one of those piles of rubble there. Uh, they got rid of the barn that was just a skeleton of a barn. That used to stand right there as some kind of foundation there but uh, yeah big change um, so I can't take any close-up photos of that house now uh, unfortunately 
but uh, I was going to do that when I was last here, but I didn't. I should have. But that's okay. Uh, we're going to head on to uh, probably my favorite barn next, along Highway 21, and then uh, a cemetery I didn't know about along Highway 16. So then, for a little further down the road, there's this little, looks like a storage yard for rail cars. Uh, right next to that is this beauty. This abandoned house. Two car garage, attached. Looks like a really beautiful house. I went up to it and up through the front, didn't go in. Just don't trust these uh, when you don't know the history behind them, just in case there's something in there. But, or if the floor even will hold. But still, it's pretty cool to document the stuff. Uh, just try and, I gotta try and find some history on it now. There's a tire swing in the front yard. Obviously, that's not been used in a few years and won't get used again. I wasn't the only one that came through here today, or this week, but uh, looks like there's had a lot of parties in there, with all the graffiti and everything. So here I am at my favorite barn around this area, it's just been here since I was in this area, and uh, right alongside Highway 21, very busy highway between Sherwood Park and Fort Saskatchewan. Fort Saskatchewan's where I used to live. And yeah, so I'm gonna take some photos of this, then hot off to another cemetery that's kind of in between a divided highway that I never knew about until yesterday when my sister told me about it. So stay tuned. All right, and uh, nestled between one and the other side heading east, you have this little plot of land surrounded by really nice fir trees, or pine trees, I suppose they are. And you have another cemetery called Fairmount Cemetery. And there's uh, this nice gate entrance, and this is kind of different how. At the gate, there aren't any headstones, gravestones, but towards the back there are. Because normally in gravesites you'll find the early gravestones at the front of the gate. Because that's where it started. So here I am at another of my favorite spots that now that I know of. Uh, it's this little... I guess it's little residence used to be. Uh, big shed there, big barn. There's uh, the house there, and another large shed in behind it. And in behind that is uh, railroad tracks. And this is located just west of, uh, or just east of uh, Fort Saskatchewan, actually, along Highway 15. So another busy highway. Uh, I got photos of this at Thanksgiving, and the driveway is uh, is wooden, actually. It's pretty interesting. I'm going to have a walk around here and get some shots. So that's it for my trip today. It was a fairly short trip as far as distance goes. But it um, took me a while on that last one to walk through the snow in the field, through the snow in... Uh, the driveway and in the barn and or through the barn and stuff um, It was pretty cool though um, Police I'd never been before as far as inside or anything um, But anyway uh, Videos are as you have seen prior to this one. Uh, I will have photos online um, This weekend cheers for now